Hello and welcome to Muse for You. This is John, your Adobe Muse instructor. And in today's video, we're going to be going over uh, the effects section in Adobe Muse. Uh, now, it's not scroll effect, it's more just kind of like adding shadow, uh, glow, and bevel to your elements in Adobe Muse. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and open Muse. I've created the sample site here. And if I hit Command Shift E, uh, we can see there's a little bit of a shadow on this uh, element here. Or, yeah, there's a shadow here. There's a glow on here, and there's a bevel on here. And the same for these images. There's a shadow, a bevel, you can see kind of on the outer edges, and a glow. Now, I'm going to amplify those a little bit so you can see them a little bit better. Uh, for this one, I just created a, uh, a rectangle. I used the rectangle tool and kind of created the square and then place the image in it. And then if you click on this uh, element here and you just go to effects, this is where we add our effects. You see we have these three buttons, shadow, bevel, and glow. On this one, I've added a shadow and I can make the opacity stronger or uh, more kind of solid there. So it's now a darker shadow and I can give it uh, a bigger blur, add more blur to it. So it kind of expands, let's say it, set it to 50. And you can see we have now that pretty big shadow. We can change the angle to have the shadow kind of in you know different places. And we can change the distance, really give it a big shadow. Now that doesn't look too good. I mean, if we're previewing the browser, it doesn't, it doesn't look that great. Um, eh, it doesn't look bad, kind of like a, it's like really popping out because it has that shadow in the background. Uh, but yeah, let's, uh, let's kind of change that back to the distance, like to five. Uh, the blur will set it to, or we'll set the opacity to 50. Uh, the blur to, I think it was at 10, or something to that effect. And then we just get a nice light shadow. So you can play with these options here and really add, you know, another dimension to your elements and objects in uh, Adobe Muse. Uh, another one, uh, we can also add glow to this as well. But if we go to this next one here, I added the glow to this. So I go to effects, go to the slash button here. Here, let me take the shadow off here. Go to the slash button. And we see that the glow is selected. Uh, we can make the glow a little bit um, more solid by changing the opacity to 100. And we can give it a really kind of big blur so that it's really glowing. See, that's pretty cool. It's like my button is really glowing there for my uh, element here. And then the last one we have is bevel. So you go to effects, and let me just take the shadow off here, and just go to bevel here, this middle button, and uh, just click bevel, and then again you can change the opacity, the blur, the angle, and the distance. Um, bevel just adds kind of this interesting border around the, you know, the certain edges of your, uh, of your element. It kind of makes it look like more of a button, like it's popping out. Um, but again, you can play with it and see, you know, how it works best for your elements in your website. Now, the same goes for uh, graphics or any icons or graphics you add to your website. Uh, if it's a PNG, the uh, the effects will just be added to the to the uh, PNG in a really nice way. So you can see this this graphic here has, if I go to effects, has the shadow. If I take it off, it kind of looks just like a little bit bland. And when I add the shadow, it really adds a lot of kind of uh, another depth to it. And the same here, I added a bevel on this one. So I go to effects, go to bevel, and it kind of makes it pop a little bit more. And then I go to this one and I added a glow here at the end. And let's just make the opacity stronger and give it kind of more glow there. You can see it has a glow. So I hit command shift E and preview it. You can see I've already given kind of more depth to my elements in my website and just uh, as a side note whenever you uh, insert an image directly and if it's a png it'll just import as a png and then you can just you know add the effects to it and it won't add it to the outer edges it will actually add it to your png which is uh, very useful and a great feature in adobe muse uh, to really give your elements more pop and more uh, in, you know uh, make them more interesting by adding, adding effects to them. And it can really help when you're styling your website to make it look more 
to, you know, make it have more depth, depth to it. Um, all right, so that's it for this video. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.